Hi guys, my name is Lynn and welcome to my channel. Don't mind my lighting, there's no electricity, so we're going to have a sit down and talk about 261 Oak Avenue in Randburg, the scam that has been alive and thriving in Johannesburg for years. If you have been looking for a job for, I don't know, I got into the job market in 2014 and they were there already. If you have ever been in any mall and you've seen ladies and oh guys that are wearing white shirts and black skirts and that assist you to open an account could be in Ackermans. not sure if they're there in pep guys these people are i actually feel like it's a bit like they're they are they've been trafficked they are part of a scam not that they are scamming you if you open an account through them it's it's I, i'd like to believe that it's perfectly legit like they, they are not at full day but they are poor souls that need assistance. So guys, let me tell you what I'm talking about. So there's a company called, it goes by different names, guys. Some call it Critical, some call it Pedium. It has different names. And if I'm checking, yeah, there is even a post here on Facebook. Someone says, guys, beware of 261 um, Avenue. So what they do is they partner with companies such as Ackermans, Edcon, guys, you apply for a job there either to be an administrator or a sales and they sell you this idea that hey you'll be um partnering you'll be an account manager this is why a lot of people are afraid of like sales jobs right because of companies like this so they make it seem like hey you'll be partnering up and this is what you'll be doing and all of that right which is great right first um, job in you know in the big city where you're working with these big brands and guys they do not pay you it's a scam so guys if something is too good to be true it is too good so in terms of interview process right so you apply you've got uh, in adverts all over the internet you apply and then they actually do invite you over for an interview right all is legit there you do go don't worry they're not going to steal anything from you so you get interviewed but sometimes you are interviewed in batches like how can you be like 10 people you're interviewed at once immediately guys that is a red flag i've never seen such an interview such like <laughs> anything good come out of those interviews right anyway you're like okay you know what guys they're looking this you right they're rationalizing it you're like ah uh, they want a lot of people at once um so you know as long as i can speak english and blah blah blah, blah i'm in and yes you are in and then they tell you start work at six o'clock you need to come in you're like oh it's part of orientation yes it is part of orientation and um they then give you a trainer someone that's gonna assist you so all this is doing good, but guys, there's no contract. Never accept a job or an opportunity where there's no contract, right? So there, are, I, I don't know anyone that has ever been given a contract. Guys, please, another disclaimer, I've never worked there, but I know people that have worked there. I've assisted them to get out of that situation. So, yeah, um, trust and believe what I'm telling you guys. Uh, if you don't, it's uh, <laughs> don't cry. <laughs> don't come crying. Um, so, guys... You, you don't get an, a contract sometimes you're even interviewed then like maybe it's nine o'clock you're interviewed and then by 10 you're told hey you've got a job going to the field i've never heard of that um i have ran graduate programs i have assisted in um searching for junior roles things gotta get signed off you just don't run and do whatever you want right but then these guys you get interviewed that time you're like okay you go to the, the field so the field is obviously where you are opening accounts. You do get a trainer that is someone that is assisting you. This trainer, guys, is actually someone that has been trying for months or sometimes years to come up the rank, come up the ranks, and actually become a manager because they promise people that hey, if you hit these targets like these KPIs, these metrics, you get promoted to being an owner or a like to have your own little branch. I think it's like a multi-level marketing, but in a corporate establishment. If that makes sense right but anyway guys the problem is that i have with this job is the money is not enough so they pay you pay how many people that sign up for these accounts that you like it accounts right and then you work hard to get people to sign up so people sign up and then you're getting paid commission sometimes you can get paid as much as maybe 200 trans a week 300 trans a week but guys wait you still have to foot the bill to travel 
to the location and you know guys they won't allow you to work let's say um you live like maybe in Randbeck, they won't allow you to work at Randbeck square they'll give you a store located like in pretoria so in a way you are screwed i think pretoria it will cost you like maybe sometimes 40 rands to go there so you did like 80 rands a day how are you going to make it traveling from home to pretoria Working hours, you start work at 6 a.m. That means you need to leave your home at um, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. you get to work every day, guys. I'm talking about every day. And then you do, they uh, pump you up like war cries. Um, they've got keywords that they like using. Juice, if you've ever heard of this, just know you're part of the scam. Um, they talk about owner managers they pump you up and then you go out to the stores to open accounts if you've ever been in a mall you notice that after like three o'clock four o'clock you won't find those guys that i can assist you to open an account they would have gone you know why they need to race back to the office so no matter what time you start work or wherever you st or wherever you, you'll be located you need to go back travel back to the office to like sign off or something which is ridiculous guys and you work seven days as long as malls are open you are working now let us talk about how then they get you in their little cult i'm gonna i think it's a cult right so remember guys you're working ridiculous hours six to six you get home like at nine o'clock at night you start work at six in the morning um you can't even afford the transport to go to the place so how are you funding your lifestyle you don't so they do have houses where they um they're called company houses where you can go and live there so like oh Lynn, that solves the problem right i don't have to worry about rent renting your honest bag is quite expensive you are wrong that's where they've got you right so that means you are not able to save you're not able to grow as a person you need money to grow right <laughs> you cannot even pursue other interests you're even cut off from your friends because you're not even having time to find to see them you can't even afford a phone at this point because if you're getting paid like 400 rands a week and all of that is going to feel how are you going to eat guys they even offer you food at these houses so you are not self-sufficient you are now purely surely relying on them and then sometimes so like i said guys they've got different branches all around the country right so sometimes what they do is if let's say you are recruited right for a job let's say you are like in um pumalanga or something right they will say oh we've got a better opportunity in johannesburg so you are like your friends and family oh guys i got a job in johannesburg i've got a company a company house whatever whatever so they've taken you from an environment where you've got support and they plant you in johannesburg Johannesburg, where you have no other solution role or anything then to depend on them heck you're living in their company house you're eating their food they even give you transport money as a favor which sometimes you now owe them to go to work and do these campaigns guys and if you ever sometimes speak to the person people that are now like trainers they haven't been there for a year sometimes you might feel like you've been there you've put your hopes and dreams into this dream of owning a company because the pe few people that own companies have seemed to have these houses and these cars but i've been told that they actually do not own these things they're actually under the company name all right so guys i don't want to make this video long all i want to say to you guys is if ever you get invited to an interview where number one there's no clear job description a and also if you go to an interview where there it's like a huge uh, 10 of you guys five of you guys are being interviewed at the same time it's not for you if there's no contract do not work there if i don't think they even ask for your ids and all of that I, you know it's and if the wage is not enough i i understand that you can um i've been here and i've showed you guys oh i've got this job for like seven thousand rands i'm not i know it's not a lot of money but i do believe that seven thousand rands you can get somewhere to live or you can live with family and truly really still contribute to life uh food upkeep while you're gaining experience right guys these commission only jobs unless you're very good or whatever i would say do not take them um I, anyway guys this video was just um hey guys let's talk about the job scams that are in um, johannesburg if i do come across another scam i know there are lots right i, I see a lot of them like mm, like this one that say fax your cv who's faxing in 2023 <laughs>
Who's faxing? Uh, I know it's a scam. So maybe from time to time, I will start bringing you these scam type places for you guys to watch out. But anyway, guys, let me know. Have you ever applied to 261 Oak Avenue? Have you ever been called to an interview? Have you ever waited for them? Let us know your experience in the comment section. Remember, guys, you are amazing. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Until next time.